I'm going to make a bet that uh, since Obama is going to be the next president, President Obama will be the next president, um, that he's going to release Dickie Scruggs on the basis of what kind of past performance the voters in Mississippi have always um, done. And also the fact that there is some record that some people who are close to the the cat well in the cabinet um, used to travel to Ole Miss and um, ask him for money. Also, there's a large contingent in uh, in Texas. Mr. Humphreys, that wonderful man who is associated with Baylor Law and has given me so much support over the years in terms of thanks, I made a lot of money and so it, but and Baylor has always been a, a wonderful place except you know, when it became uh, the land of Nod, so to speak, one of the most boring schools I have ever attended. And, of course, I tried to stay out of it as long as I could, but nevertheless, it's Chancellor now, or as they call him, Judge, in a long tradition of judges is uh, Judge Kenneth Starr leading the head. But in that clan over there in, in Texas, you have the group from the Humphreys uh, side, which took the, uh, took the uh, uh, pole position in uh, the Texas and Florida and Mississippi, first first bites at the apple for the master settlement agreement. Again, a horrible, horrible thing to happen. But Humphreys's law firm has also taken little dives over here in the state of Mississippi trying to grab some money from one thing or another. Now, I'm not saying that Humphreys is necessarily the guy who um, is going to help make Obama, President Obama, make his decision when he does select uh, Dickie Sprugs for early release. But there is some indication that the, the top donors to the Obama uh, presidential um, Conti continuity here in terms of second second term uh, sort of fall in the area of Houston. Now, if you know Houston, Houston is the home of Vincent and Elkins, and Vincent and Elkins was right in the middle of the Arthur Anderson big uh, big debacle, which had to do with whether or not. Uh, Enron was actually doing the right thing. So Vincent Elkins was making decisions. Of course, since self-stocking law firms or lawyers in general never make mistakes, um, it was the, never pointed out that Vincent and Elkins should somehow stand to um, some kind of uh, attention and have maybe put them in the corner for a while, you know. Lawyers seem to get away with it, just like Shokardi Bacon. I mean, that had the whole business in the, uh, in what we call the uh, RICO case. I don't recall, I don't recall anything bringing about any attention towards Shokardi Bacon when Shokardi Bacon of Kansas City there. Uh, you know, from the very beginning in the 50s, they um, they were the uh, chief, uh, the head honchos, the people who maintained the the documents that are housed with and protected by AK-47s or whatever. 
certainly guarded and um, they have maintained the posture of, of the community of the tobacco companies no problem but you never seem to catch the lawyers the the, the large and uh, on this end I'm I am I am looking uh, I'm looking at what what would it hurt for an early release for Dickie Scruggs well he's not that popular with me I can tell you but the the port the important part is um, what would he stand to lose first of all as I mentioned Houston has a um, a trial attorney who well there are a lot of trial attorneys in Houston but Houston is sort of the the um, uh, where the the action is and where the money is and where one fellow is the cumulative master of divvying up a lot of money along with the the people who maintain the uh, the entertainment uh, industry especially DreamWorks I think the um, the level of, of financial donations does have something to do with uh, who's going to be the next president but I think most importantly Mississippi has always been on the wrong end and, and I think of I don't think of the Gulf Coast as being part of Mississippi never have on the other hand um, Jackson which is more in the area of where my 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 parents and my sister lived and um, I, I know that area it seems to be in a way a liberal Mm, maybe and maybe not but <clears throat> what I think is most significant about the various parts of Mississippi is the Ole Miss contingent which if you remember the case where Dickey was brought up uh, the first time and he went to jail and then he uh, came back and he went back but um, on a different charge well, let's face it, um, the people um, of Oxford did not do him any good by, by, uh, by asking for um, some kind of uh, mercy and from, from the judge, and um, he didn't give it either. And on this case, however, I think that Obama, as president, uh, leaving the office and re again coming back into the presidency has nothing to lose and the trial lawyers in Houston particularly a young a younger trial lawyer who's in, in about 40 years old has developed a theory of gathering money and throwing it into the democratic um, um, political arena and uh, I don't, you know, that, you know, the amounts that they're talking about, a few million dollars, are ridiculous because you know that if people like Umphreys and people like uh, uh, this particular trial attorney in Houston, Vincent and Elkins, of course, the silk stocking law firm, and um, the, the silk stocking law firms usually represent people who are, are uh, more or less the corporate entities and they're individuals we all know that and just like you and me um, they're just another person but I I think that from the point of view of um, what they do on the side is they they really want to make sure that that they can um, have some protection from what Mississippi does in terms of tort reform and what is a, a gathering momentum in tort reform, which absolutely means nothing to anybody in, unless you're aware of what tort reform does for those people who are making big bucks. I don't see any redemption whatsoever for the the um, the big fix 
and certainly in the case of, uh, of Scruggs, who may and certainly has sought early release, would, uh, would be pursuing this in the background for sure. And it would be propitious for um, a, a, a departing and restarting presidency to uh, perhaps look at uh, Dickie Scruggs' early release in a favorable light. And this probably started some time ago. I don't know. But I'm predicting that, well, of course, I think there's no possible way that Mitt Romney is going to get the Electoral College votes. Um, this is always the same way. In Mississippi, while it gets its districts and it, it gets its congressmen, and some most of the time it gets always gets its way in the uh, senatorial races, even going back into the wild woolly years of Eastland and Stennis and um, the, the, the Dixiecrats, there's always been an alienation of affection from, from the, the presidential powers. And so in this case, the trial lawyers and, and Dickie Scruggs probably have a chance here to, you know, Dickie Scruggs, if if you if you remember back when Ole Miss was counting what this meant, you had a chancellor Eddie Kayette or whatever junior. You had <clears throat> you had people from all walks of life in Oxford, the Shiki Place Square. God knows. I mean, Faulkner hated it. Faulkner made fun of the people, but and and some people think he actually went to school there. He was in the mailroom. So, but uh, the 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 honorifics and all of the things that that come with being a part of this wonderful settlement, which is a lousy settlement, a terrible settlement, an awful settlement, a Matt Meyer settlement. A Matt Meyer settlement that created a mayhem and destruction of any kind of tobacco control. There's no such thing as that now. There is just the opposite. Anyway, I think that's what's going to happen, but um, I could be wrong and probably am wrong, but it's a nice thought. For Dickey, if you if you've done your work and the people in Texas probably have pushed this a little bit farther than anywhere else, I can't imagine um, Houston, uh, which is the center of the universe, so to speak, has been for a long time for these litigators. And Vincent and Elkins, by the way, was the third prong on the uh, the uh, place where. I was working and for the law firms was um, the prong that had um, one of the larger roles in uh, settling her, the um, computerization of the documents from Brown and Williamson and also some of the uh, mm, some of the others which might throw in for Dickey would be Atlanta and um, maybe there's something else out there. But as long as you've got, you've got this possibility, I uh, just hold this out as, as a reality. First, Obama will have, there's just no way that, that Mitt Romney, I know some of you hope that, but this, you know, Mississippi never votes in the president unless it's, George Bush and um, I, I think the, the, there is a definite conservative beyond conservativism uh, out there in the, the voting in the small state. It's only a couple million people and what, what they come up with is always not the, not the Democrat. And certainly that's, if you remember the 1968 uh, raid and, and then following that front lot and the most influential people. But I predict it and maybe it'll happen. Who knows? Dickie, good luck.
squishy luck.